Hey, hey, it's Assistant Coach, how are you guys doing it? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the AC Milan career mode. This is episode 3. Thank you so much. That is 3 in German. Let me know in the comments down below what episode 4 is in your language, boys. And, uh, of course, hit that like button again and again and again. Because if you hit it once, you like the video. If you hit it for the second time, you take your like away. If you hit it for the third time, you give a like. You gotta know this stuff. First of all, welcome everyone, man. This has been an amazing start into the series. Thank you guys so much for the immense amount of support on episode one and episode two of the AC Milan career mode. And today, the fan objectives will be revealed. As always, in the third episode, the fan objectives are going to be revealed. And in this episode, in the comments down below, I want you guys to suggest forfeits for those fan objectives. But do it when the time comes because I'm going to give you a couple more instructions on how to do it and how we can order it perfectly. That's what I'm asking for so that we have the comments kind of ordered so that I can find the stuff much easier and I can use the best ones in the comments down below. Now, boys, we started off into the season with a banger. We had zero goals conceded, which is beautiful, and seven scored. I mean, that is pretty impressive if you ask me. That is a very, very good start into the season. But you can see that Lazio and Juventus have started off with three points as well. Same for Roma, same for Napoli. Lovely to see these big teams actually doing well. If you guys remember, at the end of last season when we transferred over to AC Milan, those big teams were all in the top six. So hopefully it will be the same this season and we will have an amazing season to look forward to. Inter have actually lost. Whoa, okay, Inter have lost their first game. Well, I guess that is cool for me to see. Now, boys, this episode will be about transfers for the reserves team, the fan objectives, and also uh, the numbers. Yes. All right, boys, I have a comment right here from Shaheen HD. He says, for new numbers, give Bardi his number 17 that he wore at Liverpool. Done it. Give Rabiot number 8. Done it. Danilo Pereira number 5. Yes, done it. Grimaldo number 12. Yup, done it. And Sancho 11 and Lopez number 23. Now, uh, the number 3 should be something that no one wears as far as I'm concerned. So number 3 is going to be taken away from Chuduri here. And we're going to give him number 98. Um, I'm sorry, Chuduri, but number 3 is just not allowed to be worn at this team. Same with Felicioli. You are not getting number six, mate. You are getting number 97. Yes, that is a beautiful number. Enjoy it, Felicioli, okay? Don't cry. You know what? You guys have been waiting for long enough. Let's explain or let's reveal the fan objectives to the viewers. Now, you guys can see it on your screen. These are the fan objectives for this season. Thank you guys so much for the comments. Uh, down below for helping me out with these fan objectives. First of all, number one, of course, the true icon objective. That one requires Enis Bardi to get 35 scorer points this season, which is not easy to do. 35 scorer points. Scorer points are obviously a goal or an assist. 35 is the number that he has to reach. Hopefully, he can get there. I mean, he started off decently into the season. So far, I believe, let me check real quick while you guys are seeing the stats, uh, the objectives on your screen. So far, Enis Bardi is already on three. First game, he has got himself two goals and one assist. Uh, we might want to upgrade that to 40 at some point, but I wanted to start off with 35 because I thought that was a decent number throughout the whole season. So that is the true icon objective. Darby della Madonnina is the second objective. It is just saying, do not lose against Inter. No matter at home or away, we are not allowed to use against Inter. Obviously, home and away is a to totally different uh, thing with Inter and AC Milan. But the third objective right here is chasing Gunnar. Now, this is maybe something that no one knows about, but I've seen in the comments, one guy put some amazing objectives in there, and I believe two of these are actually from him. Um, he says, Chasing Gunnar, that is the name that I uh, called it, break the record of Gunnar Nordahl's 38 goals in 1951. 38 goals in a season of 38 games. That is going to be very interesting. Now, I'm not going to limit this to one player only, because it could be 
Raheem Sterling, it could be Belotti, it could be Castilejo, or it could be Enis Bardi, who knows? So we are just letting that open. We have to break that record with any of the players. A lot of people were saying break the record of Higuain with 36 goals, but this guy actually does own the record in the Serie A, which is 38 goals, and it sounds so much better. Chasing Gunnar sounds so much better than chasing Higuain. I mean, the guy's fat, it's not that tough to do. Uh, Buffon's son, that is the ne next objective right here Donnarumma has to get 15 clean sheets I know it might sound like a small number to you guys but you guys know me I struggle with keeping clean sheets and 15 is a huge number for myself so it's going to be very interesting to see if we can manage to get 15, uh, 15 clean sheets in all competitions throughout this season the other one is a very very tough one it might sound like a small number set piece maestro score three free kicks with any Bardi. now first of all i know any Bardi has insane free kick stats i know it could it could be portrayed as easy to score them but it is not because you have to get the free kicks on fifa 19 i maybe got what seven to eight free kicks in the Liverpool career mode in decent positions where I could take the shots onto the target. So just getting those free kicks is tough enough. And then I also have to score them. So I'm going to keep it on three so far. If we reach that really quickly, we can, up we can upgrade that to five. But for now, the fan objective of the set piece maestro is set to three goals because everyone out there wanted me to have a fan objective with any Spardi on the free kick. So we're going to do that. And then the the last fan objective is the fortress don't uh, the fortress not for fortress what the hell don't lose a game at home that is the last fan objective and it is going throughout the entirety of the season it's gonna be a rough one it's gonna be a very very rough one and uh a long-term one where every single game at home we are gonna be on our toes we need to be at the best of our ability when we do play at home and hopefully we will play well those are the fan objectives now i want you guys to go down to the comments down below if you want to suggest a forfeit please put this into the comments if you want to suggest an objective for true icon hashtag true icon if you want to uh, suggest a forfeit for the derby hashtag derby a forfeit for chasing gunner hashtag gunner um hashtag buffons uh, actually, hashtag Buffon's son, you can do that. That's not too long. And then another one is hashtag Maestro. And the other one is hashtag Fortress. So for those comments, if you want to, for those objectives, if you want to put comments down below with forfeit suggestions, put it in with those hashtags so that, it, so that it is a lot more organized and easy to find these objectives or these forfeits in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Fan objectives have been reinstated. That was a long time talking. Whew. Now though, boys, we go back into the comments section. It is time for transfers. As you guys know, we need a, a new center back for the reserves team to play instead of Chuduri. And we do need desperately a new right back for this reserves team as well. Now, first of all, let's start off with the right back position. That is the position where we need change immediately. Now, here's a comment from Hammers Inside. He says, go for Pablo Maffeo for the right back position. He's pacey, young, and has a real face. Amazing dribbler, great crossing, runs like a beast, great defending stats too. All right, I've never used Maffeo, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a player that we are right now interested in. As far as I know, he plays for Stuttgart and he's Spanish. Yeah, there we go. That is true. Hey, good memory, my man. 23 years old, 5 foot 8 tall. Ooh, five foot eight tall. Ah, it's the reserves team. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to go ahead and um, shortlist him in the transfer hub. We do have, as you guys might remember, around 30, 31 million. All right, 31 million is the amount that we have right now. And I'm wondering how much he costs. I genuinely have no idea. And I don't want to spend too much. Ooh, and I don't have the time to scout. We're going to take a risk here, boys. I, I honestly have no idea how much he goes for. We could blow this off immediately. I wish you put into the comment how much he actually costs. We are already in season three, so he would have grown. He started off at the age of 20 or 21. He might tw turn 24 this year. Oh, what do we do here? What do we do? We offer them... A transfer fee. We have 31 million. I need a right back and a center back. Those are the most important positions. We can play with Ayosa Perez if needed. We're going to offer them. 
Ah, I'm kind of stuck here. I really don't know. I'm going to say 13 million. I know it might sound like a lot or it might sound like a very low amount. What are they saying? Oh, okay. So he is a sick talent. See, that's the thing. When I'm not using SoFIFA, you will see my coach like this. He can't believe what just happened. 13 million was not enough for this man. We will have to offer more. Do I have enough time to be able to make another offer? We're going to check the uh, calendar real quick. We are not that close to transfer deadline day. Okay, we will be able to make another offer for sure. Next offer will be like... Ah, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually afford him. That's the thing. That is the thing. I don't know if we will be able to afford him. Now, on to the other comment that suggested a center back. It is from Mikhail Rautainen. Rautainen. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, bud. But um, in that comment, he's suggesting a player that I, I don't believe I've ever used and I would be very, very interested in. It is Niklas Stark, the center back from Hertha. He's 25 years old already. Oh, now he's playing for Watford. Ah. These might turn out to be quite expensive, you know. We're going to try our best to sign him, though. I really want to bring in this German lad into the team. I want to show some love to Germany. Niklas Stark. Let's go ahead and approach to buy on this case. He doesn't have a release clause. And this is another thing that I might go ahead and do. If I don't manage to buy any of these players, I will go ahead and um, search by release clause and find ourselves some decent players um, that sadly haven't been suggested by you guys, but might actually fit into the team now offer transfer fee that is what we are doing for niklas stark i am guessing he costs me at least 20 million and i'm already guessing that he's gonna run away again but it will be like an initial offer to kind of see what they are looking for that's a fair offer oh no did i offer too much i think i might have offered too much in this case see you offer 13 for mafeo where you don't think he's decent and then you offer 20 for niklas stark and you're like Oh no, is he not good enough? Now, I think he's going to be good enough for the reserves team for sure, but is he worth 20 million? That's the question. He's 6 for 3, which I really, really like. So, we're going to negotiate his contract immediately. We do buy him for 20 million. We still have around 11 million left for that right back position. That is a decent amount to bring in an okay right back into the team. So, um, right now, we're going to offer him a rotation role. Will he be happy with that? He is actually happy with that, which is kind of scary, but he wants a five-year contract. Dude, everyone that is about to join AC Milan wants to join for a long time. That is very nice to see. No release clause. They don't want to leave. That is beautiful. Now, in the wages, he wants 43k, which is actually a decent amount. I really, really do like that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to counter. I'm going to remove the bonus, and I'm going to say, you, my friend, are going to get... 50k and no bonuses. How about that? I don't want to give away any bonuses right now. I just don't feel like it. Let's see what he says. Is he accepting? Hey, they, ha they are accepting. Let's go, boys. We are not giving him any bonuses. I wanted to give him 50k straight away. That is what we are doing right now. And Stark has joined into the team. That's Let's check his stats. I will say he's like a 78 rated player. If we get lucky, he's 80 already. He is 80. You know what? 20 million for an 80 rated center back who probably still has a little bit more potential is a decent amount. And the most beautiful thing that I can already see, he has amazing acceleration, incredible sprint speed, good strength, 70 stamina, which is okay for a center back. Good composure, good interceptions, decent aggression. Ball control is really good. Heading accuracy is very nice. Um, short passing is okay. Uh, stand tackle is very good. I like this. I really like this signing. Welcome to the club. He can also play in a CDM position. Niklas Stark is now a part of AC Milan. So since we don't even have above 13 million, there is just no way for us to buy Pablo Maffeo right now. What I'm going to do, like I announced it before, is I'm going to go in here. We're going to search for um, players that have a release clause and we want them to be right backs. And we don't want them to be too old. We're going to go for 26 at max. Let's see what we have here in terms of suggestions. Do we have any decent players that would be worth it? We are looking for a release clause at around 8 to 11 million. 4.6 right here for Gustavo Cascardo. Never heard of him. 
but the, he does seem nice, so he might be a player that we might be interested in. I like that. Also, Lucas Paqueta, I believe, has joined AC Milan. I don't think he is on FIFA. So sadly, we won't be able to bring him into our team, which is a decent signing, by the way. If you guys are AC Milan fans, let me know what you think about that one. Now, this is an interesting one. Robert Gumney, never heard of him, Polish. 5 foot 10 tall, 22 years old, and he has an 8.6 million release clause. We're going to add him to the shortlist. And we're going to add um, Cascardo to the shortlist as well. Where is he? There he is. We're going to add him to the shortlist as well. He has 11 months remaining on his contract. So that could be a player that we can go for in the future. Anyone else? 7.9 million. Joao Pedro, right back from Porto. Definitely onto the shortlist. Anyone else? Give me some more. Give me someone that I actually know. Uh, Nas Nusair Mazraoui. Never heard of him. Stamina seems to be his key uh, stats. Sprint speed, acceleration, agility, short passing. Sounds really good. I'm going to shortlist him as well. Come on, give me a big name. Eder Militao, 37.8 million. Probably not going to happen. <laughs> we need another one. Please help me out, EA. Give me a decent choice here. Odrio Zola, sadly not an option. Way too expensive for us. Would have been a decent player to bring in though. I would have really enjoyed Audrey Ozola in the team. Camilo Rodriguez, 5'7", don't like that. Give me another option, EA. 5.8 million for Jeremiah Sanjust. I do remember this guy. We had him in our past career modes. He is a decent player, you know, and he's 6'1 as well. And he has a nice haircut. So hopefully, he does have a real face with a real haircut. That'd be sick. Carlos Vigaray seems okay, but probably not the fastest. Looking forward, we are now done with these suggestions of the release clause players. We are going to go into the transfer hub and we're going to decide who we go for. Now, I've never heard of this guy, which makes him very interesting to me. Robert Gumni. Hmm. I'm really interested. Cascardo, I'm interested as well. I've never used him. The beautiful thing about Gumni is though, he's 5'10". Cascardo is 5'9". Pedro is 5'10". He plays for Porto. Porto tend to bring out incredible talents out of their team. So definitely an option. Mazraoui doesn't look too bad. And Barcelona has him. So he must be good. Sanchust, we used in the past. So I'm actually, he doesn't have the haircut. So we're going to get rid of him immediately. I'm sorry, dude. You only had a chance if you had that blonde haircut. Um, I'm going to go for... Mm, I really don't know. I'm going to go for Gumni. I feel like he could be an interesting player. He could be very low rated and I might be overpaying massively here. But I'm going to try my best. We're going to go for the Polish lad. Let's negotiate, my man. Let's see if we can bring him into the squad as our reserves team right back. Never heard of him. If you guys are Polish, hopefully you are enjoying this part of the video. He does seem quite similar to his picture, so that is a good thing. We're going to accept this one. He's a pros... Hold on. He's a prospect? He doesn't even want to be a rotation player. That kind of scares me off. I don't know here. I think I'm going to accept, dudes. I think I am going to accept. Even though it says he's a prospect, that is the biggest amount out of all the players uh, in terms of the release clause, and that should kind of tell us uh, what he's worth. Now, I would love to see what he says in terms of wages. That's going to tell us a lot. Hopefully, they tell us what they want. We're going to disregard the release clause. All right, they want 32K. Now, if you remember... Niklas Stark wanted to have 43k, if I'm not mistaken. So, 32k, that could mean he's potentially around the 75 rating mark, I believe. Which would be a decent amount, in my opinion. We're gonna go for it, boys. We're gonna go for it. 32k. Gumni, welcome to the team. We have brought in a new right back for the reserve squad. It is not Maffeo, I know, but we just didn't have the budget to buy two really good players. Niklas Stark is the only one to join us. Maffeo, you missed your chance. Now, Pajac is gonna take a little bit of a hi hiatus. He's gonna go away. Gumni is 73 rated. Hmm. Okay, now he is 73 rated, but look at those stats, 95 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, good amount of stamina, decent strength, great ball control, um, good slide tackle, good stand tackle, not the best, 
5 for 10 high high work rate so this guy does get involved into the attack a lot and he does have the speedster speciality as well now the beauty of this transfer is it is a player that i potentially would have never used so now he has joined into the team and he is still quite young so we can train him up for sure gumney welcome to the team you have joined in from Bayern to AC Milan. This is your new home. With that though, guys, we are done with transfers for now. The next transfers that we can make will be in the January transfer window. So I appreciate all the transfer suggestions that you guys have given me. Sadly, uh, Mafeo didn't really work out in that case. Um, Castilejo. Oh my God. Whoa. 62 million. I don't know what to do here. 62 million for Castilejo. I really don't know how to feel about this one, lads. My team is saying that his market value should be between 77 and 114 million. They are asking for 62 million, which is already nearly like what 16 million above what he's worth at the moment. Castilejo with his one star weak foot. Do we want to keep him or do we want to get rid of him? Who would I bring in if I do sell Castilejo? Now the thing is, how many original AC Milan players do we have in our club right now? In the starting lineup, how many of them are original AC Milan players? Legit, Caldara, Calabria, Romagnoli, Donnarumma. We have four original AC Milan players. And because of that, I'm not going to change it even more. I don't think I am. Castilejo is an original player for AC Milan. A nice balance of five original players from AC Milan is a good thing to have. And Castilejo is a good player and he scored an amazing goal for us. 62 million is a good amount. But I will have to say no. I will just have to say no. I, I, you know what I'm going to do? Just to see what they will offer. I'm going to go ahead and delegate someone and then we're going to say we want to start the offer at 114 and we want to end the offer. Don't sell player for below 95. If they pay 95 million for Castilejo, I just have to sell him, I think. 95 million is a huge amount of money for a player who is 25 and 86 rated and he's worth 46 something. We're going to see what happens there. That's an interesting moment in this career mode. It's going to be interesting to see how they respond. All right, the goalkeeper has been loaned out. Now we do get a transfer offer for Reina. Now that we just uh, loaned out our goalkeeper, Pepe Reina is not going anywhere. He's sticking to AC Milan. Oh, and by the way, today is the day where Liverpool is playing Napoli. I beg, I beg footballing gods, please be on our side in that game. I need Liverpool to go through. If they don't go through, I'm going to be so upset, man. Please, Liverpool, please get it done. Now, we are up against Sassuolo right here. A decent side who I believe had Berardi for quite a long time. I don't know if he's still playing there. But uh, the guy was such a big talent for a couple of seasons. And then nothing really came of it. Which is a sad story to see. But we're going to jump in there. And we're going to play. I love this kit, by the way. This kit looks pure fire and because of that i would love to change their home kit but it's not gonna happen right here we're gonna play in the white kits this is the second game of the season let's jump in there here it goes then look at their stadium man come on e8 <laughs> is this actually the size of their stadium that would be kind of sad but as you guys remember raheem sterling had an incredible performance the last time we played. And in that kit, he does look very, very nice. AC Milan against Sassuolo. Let's see how we do. And in this game, we can help ourselves with one of the objectives. Or a couple of the objectives, actually. Most importantly, the clean sheet would be a nice one to get. Oh no, the clean sheet is gone. Come on. Yes, beautiful. Yes, Calabria. Amazing defending right there. Sterling passes it forward. We have Rabiot in support. Danilo Pereira joins in. Danilo. Oh, he's still on the ball. Castilejo. Pass it back. Here we go. Raheem. Get in there, Raheem. With a little bit of space. Hits the post. Ah, I kind of have a feeling that Raheem Sterling will be scoring a lot of goals for us. Danilo Pereira looking for that run of Castilejo. Danilo, what a pass that is, my man. Castilejo cuts inside. Castilejo cross it in, man. You need to do a little bit better there. I see you, Ennis. I see you. 
Do you have a good cross on you, Ennis? Let's see it. Belotti! Belotti! Yes, it is the first goal of this match. Andrea Belotti jumps up for it. Did you see his run past the defender? That's what you want to see. This is a true number nine. Any Spardi gets himself, gets himself a scorer point as well with an amazing cross. And Belotti runs around the defender, gets into the space, heads it in. Look at that. Look at it. The cross is coming in. He gets past him, heads it in. 1 0 up against Sassuolo. What a goal. Two goals in this area so far for our striker in two games. That's a good cross. Romagnoli. Okay, he seems to be the guy that will be defending these crosses the most. Castillejo on the run. Castillejo, come on. Better first touch. Let's go. I see Raheem on the far side. Raheem jumps in. Danilo Pereira. You should not be chasing that down. There's no reason to do so. Good cross. Romagnoli is incredible in the air. What a player. We're going to cross this one over to Sterling. He's going to pass it through. Enis Bardi, Rabio, Pelotti, Pelotti. Oh, what a save. First half is finished. AC Milan under control, but we do need a second goal to make sure we get three points here. Just one chance is enough to get them on level. Uh, I don't need that. I don't want to see that. Get it over to Castilejo. Castilejo. Bardi. I see you there, Raheem. Raheem has a lot of space. This could be the second assist for Ennis. If Sterling doesn't mess it up, but he does. Belotti. Five-star week for Show It Off, man. Hits the post. Ah, woodwork is definitely not in the favor of us so far. The one thing about uh, that I love about Sterling is the fact that he runs like he does in real life. Like, this is this is Raheem Sterling. Vintage Raheem Sterling Castilejo. Ah, man. 63 million. I should have taken the money. <laughs> Sterling. Nice. Still goes through. Pass it back to Danilo. Danilo. Bang it. Oh, no. Yes. Castilejo on his weak foot. <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? Can we get onto it immediately? No, we cannot. That is actually some beautiful play here. Are they going to be able to take a shot? Yes, they are. But Donnarumma is taking care of it. Very nice. We're going to make some changes as well as they make changes themselves. We're going to bring on Jaden Sancho. Lopez is coming on for Castilejo. Is he left or right? He's left footed. Sancho is right footed. Perfect. And then we're going to go for... Do we go for Halilovic? Hold on. Wasn't Halilovic 80? Wasn't he 80 rated? What happened there? I swear he was 80 rated. This is weird. Honestly, I saw him at an 80 rating. It might have even been in the last episode. What's going on here? How did he drop down? All right, Chalonolu is going to come in for Rabio. We need someone more attacking here. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Any Spardi drops down to sentiment. Sassuolo with some beautiful play. That is a beautiful pass on top of it. Is he going to shoot Donnarumma? Oof, I, I already know. This guy will save us multiple times. Now Berardi got subbed off. I don't need any Spardi at the near post here. Or do I? Or do I? Here goes Belotti. Belotti needs the support of Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho gets an amazing pass from Belotti right here. Jaden Sancho is going to run down the wings. He's going to cut inside. He's going to go. He's going to shoot. And he's going to hit the goalkeeper. I was a bit too greedy there. Gets it inside. Danilo. Ennis. I see you there. Jaden. Come on, Jaden. Jaden Sancho, another Englishman, is successful for AC Milan. Yes, boys. Welcome to AC Milan, Jaden Sancho. That is his first goal. The man, the huge talent that is taking over the Bundesliga and is having all the eyes on him from England is putting it into the back of the net. Beautiful first time finesse shot right there. Had to do it. The defender was too close. If I took it on and tried to get past him, it would have been a tough one. Beautiful first time finesse. 2-0 up. Sassuolo turned out to be a tough opponent, to be honest. And I told you guys, when we played against Spal, I told you, these games are not going to be easy. We will have some tough, tough opponents, especially when it comes down to playing against the likes of Roma, Napoli, Lazio, Inter, Juventus. There are so many good teams in this league. It's going to be so much fun and so intense to try and win the title. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot. <sighs> Donnarumma again. The guy is on fire, man. He is going to get those 15 clean sheets. He's really after it. Ref, blow the whistle, please. 
The game is over. Let's go. 2-0 victory. Six points for AC Milan from the starting two games of the season. That is exactly what you want to see. Jadon Sancho stepping up. Belotti scoring a goal. Enis Bardi getting an assist. Beautiful, beautiful game. And Enis Bardi gets a 10.0 rating. He actually gets two assists. Oh, he played it across to Jadon Sancho as well. Yo, the 35 score of points might need upgrading. <laughs> it might need upgrading because the guy is taking teams apart already. But let's wait a little bit because it is only Sassuolo and Spal so far. Calm it down, Johnny. Tolisso has joined Barcelona for 77 million. That is an insane amount. Talking about insane amounts, let's go into the transfer history and check out what big signings have been made so far in this season. So Tolisso to Barcelona for 77. Ooh, Immobile is out of the Serie A. He has joined Paris Saint-Germain. So that is a good thing to see for ourselves. Less competition from Lazio. The big striker has moved away. Now Higuain has joined Chelsea he has left Juventus um Aguero has joined Juventus oh no oh no oh man we have Ronaldo and Aguero to deal with now at Juventus that's gonna be a rough one boys Ozil joins Atletico Madrid he's actually a transfer that I could see happen in real life that would be a decent team for himself um De Frey joins Paris Saint-Germain another big player leaving the Serie A uh Suarez joins Chelsea do we have any big signings to Italian sides? AS Roma bring in Mariano. Ooh, okay. 37 million for the striker. He's a good one, by the way. Uh, AS Roma bring in Nastasic. Okay, Roma making some moves so far. Uh, that is our transfer. Anything else for the Italian league? Sassuolo with Bagvine. We just played against him. Beat them. Uh, Juventus have brought in Mikitarian. Okay, so, so far, definitely Aguero is the biggest signing of the Serie A. Inter have brought in Jahan Baksh, but that is about it for the Serie A at the moment. The biggest transfer definitely is on Juventus' side. They will be a force that we will have to try and stop somehow. That team is ridiculous. Cristiano Ronaldo, Aguero, Dybala... What am I supposed to do against that attack? It's just impossible to defend against, I'm guessing. We do get a transfer offer now for Danilo Pereira. He's worth 31.5 and they're offering 44 million now. Normally, I would maybe go ahead and accept this, but I've used him now for a couple of games and the guy is an interception beast. He might not have the most amount of pace, but he scored an incredible long shot for us and defensively he's a he's an absolute monster there's no reason to sell Danilo Pereira we're gonna disapprove of that offer right there we still haven't seen anything coming back from Manchester City which should happen very soon and we're gonna end the episode on that when we finally do get the message from Manchester City is it coming back finally okay the transfer deal has broken down Castilejo is staying at AC Milan Five original players of AC Milan in the starting 11. That's the way I wanted to keep it. That's the way we're going to keep it. The player of the episode is definitely Andrea Belotti for me. He surprised me big time with that header. And the way he would twist and turn and help in the build-up of the play was really impressive. I know Bardi got two assists, but Belotti was the one that impressed me the most. After him, it's actually Danilo Pereira in the defending. But that is going to be it for episode number two. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Really appreciate it. I am really enjoying this AC Milan career mode and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. The reserves team will get to play. We'll see how the new transfers are. Stark and Gumni coming into the squad. We'll see how they play. And most importantly, we'll see how Ayose Perez plays in that striking position. I really want to know. And look at this. Halilovic is an AT rated in here. What's going on, game? What is going on? He was 79 rated a second ago on the bench and now he's 80 rated. I just don't get it. Something is wrong with this career mode save. I, I really don't understand what's happening here. But boys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Player of the episode, Belotti. Thank you so much for watching. Next game will be against Napoli right before transfer deadline day. Take care. Peace.